Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. Um, I want to take a look at the prices because, you know, guys, I'll be late for work now because I want to do this update video. We've just hit the all time high. It's amazing. We've been above the 246, which was the previous all time high. You can clearly see that. This morning's video is already outdated, unfortunately. Well, I talked about the 250, that with, uh, with that pattern playing out, that the 250 would be achieved. That is That was the next target. So it played out, um, where are we now? I wanna just uh, talk about where we could be heading now in the next instance. You can see very nicely here, um, a sort of trend forming. So that would be a new support line here, which is the 242 at the moment. So that is obviously, we could be fluctuating a little bit now, um, but that is a for first instance of support, it looks like that on the four hour chart here now. Um, and that is obviously climbing up as well. So this helps us going forward. So that's a nice one because that plays out with that pattern here. Um, nice. And we broke out of this triangle that I talked about this morning, which was sitting here, but we've broken out and you can probably see it on the daily. I've now obviously deleted the top line, but we had a triangle forming here. I said trend continuation. Clearly we can see that. Good thing on the hourly that we've got these um, moving averages coming in as well, climbing up, but 251 is just amazing. Guys, I just wanna re-emphasize this crypto will be in this bull run, the crypto together with XRP. I think I talked about XRP on this channel before, not that popular these videos about XRP, but I believe this one here and XRP as soon as the SEC case is closed. These are the two most expl explosive cryptos. Um, you know, congratulations for everyone who went in um, weeks ago or even a month ago when I started talking about this coin on this channel. And we've pretty much predicted everything pretty well on this channel, actually. I'm actually myself surprised how well this plays out, but eventually it's good for you guys. And I don't really, yeah, I get a bit of um, ad revenue here, but uh, the videos take a lot of work. And as I said today, I'm coming late to work as well because I wanna do this update video for you guys. Didn't wanna miss that opportunity. I actually wanted to do a live stream as well when this happened, but I'm not um, approved for live streaming yet, but I will be um, in the next 12 hours probably. YouTube always needs a bit of time to approve someone for live streaming. So that will be coming going forward. I will try some live streams on the weekend. It would be nice to engage more actively with the community and we you can answer some questions and stuff like that. Also, um, what else? Live streams coming up. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the moment. Um, what I wanna talk about quickly, where could we heading? Because I just wanna show you, and that's the hourly, but maybe we just take the four hour chart because we are pretty. Um, what, what I wanna show you is from the most recent pump, just taking the, um, no, let me take that. I wanna do the trend Fibonacci trend Fib extension. So we're gonna have a look where we could be heading actually, and there are different ways to apply it. Honestly, it's a bit tricky to apply the FIB extension, but if I just use the last pump and the last area of retracement, that is what it's you know normally normally done. Whoops, and um, it basically tells us Fibonacci FIB extension zones where we could be seeing the price. And let's take a look. Um, current, uh, and then I normally go back to where I started. Other people do it differently, but that worked for me in the past. So these show us different zones of where we um, could be heading now. Next zone is for me the 291. So these are now resistance zones, possible resistance zones, because there isn't much that we can now go by. We're now above the all-time high, guys. So I, I expect actually that we will probably be testing the uh, all-time high, which is at around 246, 47. So, this is not guaranteed that this will run going forward, but that's what you do in trading. You observe what the price is doing, then you come to your um, decisions and conclusions. So um, for me, I wanna see that um, possibly on the hourly that we can test, um, that we are gonna test successfully the 246, which is, you know, we've again, we've broken through with a huge pump, broken out of this triangle. So the 246, um, sitting somewhere here. So we wanna test that. We did, it looks like we did already because you can see this, um, that we already touched the price here. So that's nice. We just need to keep above it, guys. And then to the moon, honestly, I mean, there will be then come again, very similar to what we hear, possibly another flag uh, will be forming. So we might see another pump like that, another bull flag. And am I actually in the right? Um, no, obviously not. So we'll see another pump, another bull flag. That's what I predict. That's what we saw before, before the last hard fork but it could now be 
that we actually go all the way up to 291, which is sort of close to the $3 line. So $3 for me, really important. The next big uh, tough resistance, only 50 cents away. This doesn't seem much anymore with what's going on in, and you know, I from the beginning of this channel, I said 450 is definitely realistic for this year. So I definitely expect that the 450 and that would be somewhere at the top here. 461 is actually the top of this Fibonacci trend extension. And that might be um, a while away actually, but you know, crypto is very volatile. So guys, very thanks again for subscribing. Thanks for being with me and thanks for uh, commenting so actively. And it turns out to be all um, as predicted. So everybody who bought at $1, uh, as I grabbed some coins there, luckily, um, congratulations, everybody who bought at $2, congratulations. And you know, it, it, it's going up. And again, I won't make any recommendations here. You have to come to your own conclusions. But for me, as I said, 450 is like the price target on a conservative point of view. I think we could even go up to $10 this year if we really are in an exaggerated market. When do I think the bear market will end? Well, two scenarios for me. I think the most likely one is actually at some point in September, maybe end of September is what I believe, sorry, I believe the bull market will end. There's another scenario and I, I don't know, it's it's difficult. There are two, two scenarios for me. One is end of September, the other one is end of December. And I need to observe the market then more closely. And I've heard a lot of times end of September and there are a few things pointing towards that, like end of future contracts for Bitcoin, things like that. And also like the um, stock to flow model indicates that to some degree. Um, end of December, I don't know, I've always sort of thought that. So I need to observe the market when we come closer to that. But at the moment, I think like end of September, I think this bull market could be over quicker than we think. Might be a very huge pump now, very huge um, upward trend then and then at some point we will see the retracements coming in right that's so much uh, everything now i will do another update video lunchtime today and then yeah have a good day guys or wherever you are which time zone have a good night and see you in the next video bye